So I've opted for a more temporary fix to get a gas pedal in this thing. I think I'm gonna wait till I get to Seattle to uh, permanently remedy this because I really need a parts van to get this shaping right. There's, there's too much missing for me to properly shape this piece to replace it, so yeah. I'm just gonna fucking caulk around this and call it good until I get to Washington. And I've upgraded my floor patch a little bit. Spent a bit more time on it. That's the old one. <laughs> Junk. Pretty. Pretty video. It would appear that way. <laughs> but why? Because you're doing such a good I'm not job. Not doing anything good. I'm just doing. Oh, Ross, that's a nice patch you got there. I'm trying. Not bad for my first one. Yeah. Watch me drop it. <laughs> Clink. I guess really the only things I need to get rid of still. Washers, wipers, but it's uh, pretty well ready to go. And, oh yeah, and the, the, the door handle for the sliding door, but that's a pain in my ass. Well, I've now pressure washed it. Looks considerably better. I guess. I think I lost a little bit more paint in the process. That's not really relevant though. <laughs> <laughs> and get started on sanding down all the rust spots. <laughs> And I, I, I went ahead and blew into it, and uh, uh, th this came out. That, that, what, why? Where, where did this come from? That is thick. We're gonna just forget about that. Set them up. I set them up for success. Hey, I gave you what you asked for. <laughs> That's what it turns out looking like. <laughs> He's stacking them. All right, well, I'm going to pull all these bastards off of here and get this thing sanded and painted this evening, maybe. What do you, what do you think, Daniel? Oh, wow, thumbs up. Cool. Good to go. Well, I think it'll be dry never through the fibers and ideally come up to about here and then we cut off all the excess and then we sand it down. Sounds good. Very nice. I'm getting a fancy patch. Fancy patch. Tell Thanks, everyone, Daniel. There is a little carbon fiber in this car. Yes. You just can't guess where. Fucking race van. I really wish they would set up right now because if you look... The corner closest to the metal piece right there is like dipped down a little bit yeah, as far as the fluid that. level goes. So I'm thinking about just pouring the rest of this, not since it's still liquid. Yeah. Um, but I got about another minute or two at least. So. Then over here, supporting this from the bottom, if you look at sort of the level that you care about, should get there but again we got to add a little bit more on top as it's really starting to set yeah because obviously it's still like thin and that's why it 
Yeah. Came all the way down. But this area actually is starting to fill in well because that was that smaller little gap. So. Good, good. Yep. And then luckily when we end up sanding all this and the West Folio logo comes off, it won't be hard to recreate that. Nope. My buddy's got a plotter up in Washington, said he'd, uh, oh. he could make me a new one too. Better. Yep. Yep, I'm gonna get started on cleaning all these interior pieces. They are disgusting. This is where all the electrical and everything else goes, and it was still about up to here with nuts and insulation, I think, when I started taking the van apart. This is where the water tank goes. This is a lot more efficient. That still sucks though. <laughs> well, that's one more side panel cleaned and uh, there's the old wallpaper as it were. Seems like an ancient vinyl wrap. It uh, really reacts to the heat gun. All right, well, it's looking a lot better than it was. It's definitely gonna need more work overall, but that's good enough for uh, just putting it back in the van and dragging it out to Seattle before I do any real work. On to the next one, the overhead compartment, and uh, I cannot tell you enough how much I hate this stuff. This uh, this is all pretty well sunbaked, and it's just brittle, so you can't get it off in one piece. It's also sandwiched in between panels, and I really don't want to disassemble this whole thing. God, I hate this. Nasty, crinkly, Sticky, rotten ass. Mm. Mm. Making progress. Yeah, well, I got most of the vinyl off, so can move on from here. Yes, engine compartment seal. You gotta hold those two corners. Right? Yeah, keep this some bitch glued in. Like an asshole. Twist an ass, son of a bitch. Yeah. Nice moccasins. It takes a while to get it wound up. <laughs> that's the one word. That's a word for it. That's nice. Open air windshield. <laughs> Progress. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think that just might be all it's got. <laughs> Yeah, zero to sixty and maybe. Eventually. Yeah. I don't have my hopes. I'm hoping tuning the injection pump properly will help. I think she's I think she's starting to smell warm. Yep. Gutless as she is, two blocks is a lot without without cooling. It's a true story. <laughs> 